Hi there, it's Casper and Nicola and we're here to share some ideas about how to get on the water with your family. What we wanted to cover today is how to make your time on the water with your children fun, engaging and enjoyable so that they want to keep coming back to it because if your children and your partner are engaged and really enjoying it that is the best guarantee that you're going to spend more time on the water together as a family. I think it starts before you get on the water. I agree with that. So uh, talking to them about what you're going to do, what they're going to do, what uh, they think it's going to be like. We've got magazines and we showed them pictures, we showed them photos. I mean kids have amazing imaginations, right? So this is about engaging them and getting them thinking about it because all of us, we carry a story, a narrative inside of us. And with the kids, if you can ignite things inside them, that's gonna pull you towards it. It's not a question of, right, today we're going sailing, suddenly rock yeah. up, turn up, here we are, here's the boat. It's getting them thinking about it beforehand, imagining what they want life to be like on the water. Accept the fact that sometimes they're gonna be busy doing jobs on the boat, sometimes we're gonna be busy sailing, other times they may be sitting around and want things to entertain them and we found that's when you start playing board games and card games and reading keeping journals drawing they do things you just even things like playing hide and seek or building dens but just having things on the boat that maybe at home we've all become too used to the convenience of iPads and electronic devices. Because you know, in our today, in today's digital age, we're increasingly addicted to our phones, to our computers, to our iPads, and so on. And we get that continuous flow of digital yeah. information. And one of the wonderful things I like being at sea on being on the water is disconnecting from the yeah. grid. It's one of the things that we always do on the boat, which we do less so on land, mm. is we have family meals together. Every meal we're sitting together around the table and it really makes a difference. What we've also done is we've started introducing little um, rituals and little traditions, I guess. We have things where we've been sailing, when we were crossing an ocean, if we were going to um, you know, have a time difference, getting from one land to the next, then every few days we'd have what we called a happy hour party, which the children always arranged, and then we'd put the clocks back an hour. And it was things like that they really enjoyed. It. Once you've been on the water together, then to all sit down together yeah. and just say things that you noticed each person doing and the things that you thought were really great yeah. that everybody did, and just anchoring and cementing those memories, because it's the memories that each person takes away which will frame up what you do next yeah. time. And then getting them to write journals or draw pictures about it afterwards mm -hmm. and think about the next time. So it's really sort of making the most of each of those different experiences and layering it up for the yeah. next time you go on the water. Hopefully that is helpful and um, it takes you another step further to getting you and your family and uh, children out on the water. Have an amazing day everyone. You take care now. Bye. Willow, are you enjoying being at sea?